welcome guys today I am doing my October favorites and I can't believe we are end of October like it was just guys of October and now it's like it's end of October I don't know what is going on anyway we're here we are I'm showing my favorite products that I really 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 really, really enjoyed in the month of October my first product, the Ultra Balm from Lush, and I had this for a while, as you probably can see, because you can hardly read on what's there. But I must say, this is like an amazing product, especially like October time comes and everyone gets ill, and you know when you like got a snotty nose and you constantly had to blow your nose and you get so dry, like around there. It's like so. It's what I mainly use it for. It's like. I just put a little bit all around my nose, like every like once in a while, and it just doesn't dry out. Like it stops you from getting sore, it stops you from dry out, and it stops you from you know when your skin peels off. Oh, it's disgusting! And this is just so perfect for it. Also, like when it kind of gets a bit cold out, I also get like quite dry here, so it's quite good for that as well. Like I just put a tiny little bit, and it's there, and it just stops it from drying out. Because I have this like kind of normal skin, but just here I'm always really dry. So it's just kind of perfect for that as well, especially like before putting your makeup on, it doesn't peel off and stuff. And anywhere else, it's kind of for everything, that's why it's called the Ultra Balm. And why I really like this one is because they only have three ingredients in it. And I'm going to try if I can actually read this though. So it's organic jojoba oil, candelilla wax and rose wax. And I was like, which for me, it's kind of like, I love a product where it's as little as possible inside of it. So that's a thumbs up for Lush because often they use a lot of stuff that I don't really agree with in the many products. So this is part of my favourite in October. So my next favourite is a lipstick and it's from Sal. And if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you would have heard about this by now because I've been going on and on about how much I love this lipstick. To be honest, if you the next few products, if you follow me on any of this you will have heard about these products because it's the reason why they're my favourites because I love them and if I love something I want to talk about it so but this lipstick is gorgeous it's so I found this I think like randomly you know one day like you're on Twitter you're clicking on this you click on that you click on this and before you know it you find this amazing product or person or something and that's kind of how I found out so I just went on the website and just fell in love with their products because first of all like how gorgeous is this like it's made of bamboo so it's so unusual like normal packaging so yeah when you finish this you can just remove this and order like a refill so you just pop it in the same container like that so you can change different color you can do whatever like it's amazing and that's it's also becomes cheaper that way and it's a lot less waste and everything so so much better for the environment so that is just so amazing. But this colour is like a dark red. I'm sure you're sitting there now. Like, come on, you get talking about the lipstick. Like, that's all we care about. But, sorry. Dark red, which is so gorgeous. And it just goes on, like, so nicely on your lips. Like, when you try it on, it's just like silk on your hand. Like, it's just like, mm. You can just sit there and want to paint it, like, over. Sometimes I think I just put it too much because I keep enjoying this whole painting my lip thing very much with this lipstick so it's just so gorgeous and it's so I need to show you this as well um yeah it's a lovely colour actually it's like kind of not really extreme red like I just really like this on me it's like 15 pounds but when you actually buy a refill it's like a tenner so they take quite a bit to chunk off it's really worth it so I think if you're like on a budget these products are really good because you kind of only have to splurge out the first time and after that it comes a lot cheaper I wrote a review about it it's part of my favourite vegan lipsticks um, so I'll link that below as well so my next favourite is Botanicals Revitalising Mask and this product is so gorgeous I have reviewed it as well so it's on my blog and I'll link it below and it's just definitely a favourite of mine because it's so gorgeous like look at the packaging it's so cute like the perfect like pink and this cute little bottle and it's just so cute um but it's like a little clay mask which is really nice it's like rose clay and rose hip like mm, gorgeous and 
you just kind of apply it on your skin like you need like a tiny just little bit so even just look really tiny it will last you quite well um, and you can also mix it out with like a bit of like I use rose water sometimes and mix it together and you kind of get out more of it as well um, it's such a lovely it feels so nice on your skin like it doesn't dry it out at all like it proper cleans you like cleans you properly like I don't I, I do wash I promise I wash like every day I use all this amazing product all the time but seriously this product like this is so good like sometimes you feel clean like it just stripped off everything on your body but it still feels very hydrating and it feels very like really really good like if your skin just feels amazing after and you feels like it looks fresher it looks so it's just such an amazing product like I kind of sometimes I wish I like I should just wait to the end of review products because I don't give them enough credit like sometimes I think oh this is amazing and then after a while I'm like this is just amazing like it's so good and this is one of those like I love it more and more for each time I use it so I definitely recommend botanicals they are such a lovely little brand as well so this favorite it was also part of my last month's favorite and it's soya nail polish but it's different colors I don't just repeat myself okay so these colors is like the autumn colors or at least one of, like this is called autumn so it's a proper autumn color and I just bought it this because I felt like it's autumn color so and that is called Peyton and I just find these absolutely such a gorgeous colors like they are so nice like I'm wearing it at the moment the autumn color and I just really really love soya like I seriously in love like they are so good like I almost wish I didn't paint my nails again yesterday because I had the purple one on and I painted like a week ago and it just like a little bit of ships in the very front and for me being a hairdresser that managed to have a nail polish that lasts that well is unbelievable so when I go to normal places like a uh, place and just get a proper manicure like it last me three four days if i go to work because it's just gone like because i'm constantly in water i use everything with my hands and in people's hair and everything it's just gone like it's no it's like it's not worth going to get a manicure so when i try these and i say oh this is like the long last really long lasting nail polish i'm like yeah yeah they always say that but seriously it's so good like it lasts so well and people like every time I wear so nail polish and especially these like everyone who sees me like they're like oh, I love your nails they are definitely part of my favourites and I had to use both because I can't choose as my favourite so I had to like every time I paint my nails I alternate because I'm like this one and this one and this one and this one and my next favourite is a bit wet because I just took it out from the shower but yeah it's my conditioner from See Your Yard and it's a deep moisturising conditioner so I feel like my hair has been a bit dry recently so when I was in Sweden I picked this up because I bought like early in the year I bought another Seal Yag product which is like a serum and it's just so amazing I think that's been part of my favourites before and it just makes your hair feel so smooth and I thought like I had to just try one of their like shampoos conditioners so I bought this conditioner and it's made of blueberries and it's from Lapland and it's just so cool like just reading about the product i'm like i love it but then you try it and it's like it's amazing so seal yard is just so cool they are a bit pricey i think i bought it for like 240 crowns which i'm not an expert but i think that's probably about what 20 21 pounds something like that for like a 200 ml bottle it's a bit on the pricey side but seriously it's so good like it's really really good and like the first time I used it like it feels like it's quite you know one of those conditioners like especially like natural ones sometimes can feel a bit like you put on your hair and you feel like when you put it on it's like this doesn't mean nothing and then you rinse it off and you dry your hair and you're like your hair is like so it feels so good and what natural products do like they just do the job without putting all this extra stuff on it and it just felt amazing like I washed my hair yesterday and it still feels really soft and I just feel like this is the one condition I really needed right now and that's why it's part of my favorites because it's just amazing my last favorite is a bit different considering all other ones are beautiful products but I had to just mention this and this is 
cinnamon. So my last product of the month is cinnamon. Yes, you heard right. Um, why? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, so in October, on the 4th of October, is the cinnamon bun day. What's the most important ingredient in that? Cinnamon. And as a Swede, we love our cinnamon buns. So we can't live without our cinnamon. As simple as that. But not only that, because, okay, we I made some amazing vegan cinnamon buns when on the 4th of October, and it was oh, so good. I hadn't had them for ages, and it was so good. So amazing. So I used my cinnamon bun. Cinnamon. But then, like, a few days ago, I was like, I found some vanilla ice cream in my freezer, and I was like, I need, like, to be honest, like, vanilla ice cream is nice, but you kind of need something with it. And I was like, have I got anything? And I look, and I was like, hmm, cinnamon and vanilla could work. So I sprinkled a little bit of cinnamon on my ice cream, and I thought, it was amazing. Like, it was so good. Like, careful not to put too much on, because I don't think that's going to be very yummy. But like, oh, it's a little sprinkle, and it just tastes a little bit cinnamony with vanilla. It was so gorgeous. That's why I found two amazing things this month. That has cinnamon in it, and I just and I love this cinnamon. It's kind of a bit of sh it's called cinnamon sugar, and it's got it from Borough Market because it's kind of just a little bit more gentle. Like it's more for baking and stuff, so it's kind of a bit sweeter. Um, but it's really really cool. I like it. So as I hear, all the kids from school are out. So I can hear lots of screaming in the background because I live on a road with school. So I'm gonna have to wrap it up here because it will go crazy. So this is it guys, that was all my favourites from October and I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know what you liked in October or if you liked anything that I was talking about, please leave comments below and I'll link all my reviews and everything below. That's it, I hope you liked it, just give me a like, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Hey door! Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're all really, really well. And today I'm going to look at my used products and show you and do kind of short little reviews 